Welcome to Code Effectively. The topic for today is Inheritance in Java. This is a must sure ask question in ICIC 11th and 12th, the programming question for 15 marks, and it is an important topic for Code Java beginners. So, let's start. See, basically, we all know why we are studying Java because Java is famous for its OOPS programming, that is, object oriented programming. Okay, this is the main important language in Java, and the Java follows the procedure or the concept of OOPS. The main um, features of oops you can say are inheritance inheritance and then it's encapsulation encapsulation then abstraction and the main the other thing is abstraction and after this we know that java is famous for its object and classes theory or the procedure for object and classes so this is the main you can say this is these are the main features of object oriented programming language that is inheritance encapsulation abstraction object and classes so in order to know what is inheritance or in order to understand java you should know what is inheritance so this is an important part in java so let's start with the inheritance basics see first we have to know what is inheritance in a layman language that is in a daily life what does inheritance means as you know in a daily life inheritance means that a person who is older this is the old man and he has his child and this is his child so we know that all the property of this old man will gradually be given to the child or whatever this old man owns is directly and indirectly is that this child is the owner of this old man property directly also and indirectly also because whenever this old man till his age he is the owner and after that he will be the the child will be the owner of this old man property so we know this is a direct or indirectly the property of this old man will be given or inherited to the child so whatever child during his age during his age makes new things like for example the child after getting a job makes a makes up his own house or he gets his own car so whatever he will have is of his own plus he will also have the other property of his father also why because inheritance because of inheritance he will one day get the property of his father as well as his own property so together entire property what he will he will have at the end of the day he will be having his own property as well as plus of his of this old man or his father okay so this is inheritance that the child directly or automatically inherited the property of his father so this is the inheritance in layman's language in the same way we have inheritance in java also like for example we say there is a class 1 and we name it as parent class okay this is my let's say the parent class okay and it have some methods there are some methods in this parent class after this we make a child class let's say p2 this we can say is the child class or yes this is the child class okay this is a child class so what happens that if i say this child class wants all the methods of this p1 class that is the parent class and also he or she this class wants the method of its own also so what we will do in order to make the connection with p1 and p2 in order to make the connection between the parent class and the child class java gives us a property of using extend keyword extends keywords this is the extend keywords this helps to link these two classes in the form of parent and child that is in the form of we can say as or we can use the synonym super class or the subclass okay so this is what the java helps to link two classes in this we will get all the methods of this p1 class and this p1 class all the methods will be given to the p2 okay means if this class have 10 methods then all the 10 methods will be inherited or can be used by the p2 class directly but as you know in inheritance there doesn't mean that the child properties goes to the parents that is quite obvious okay so this happens so in this we can't take all the properties of p2 or if this we say that there are five methods in p2 then these five methods cannot be used by p1 because we know that a parent class can only give his or her like a parent class can give its method to the child class but this vice versa is not possible so let me give you a clear picture of this like let me say this as parent only the, let me give this class name parent p okay and i say there is a method name as void display 
this is my method and in this i will be just writing few codes of line after this this is my class over now i will create a class child and this class child and i will say extends and for this we have to write the name of the class that is parent p and after this i will just write its of all the methods of this child class all the methods of the child class let's say void main it will have void main and then this within the void main i will create the object of the child class that is child ob is equals to new child and by this after creating the object and if i called ob dot display now we can easily go and access the methods of the parent class why it was just all possible because of this single keyword what is this keyword extend extend keyword help me to access all the methods of the parent class so now child class it wants to display the things of this parent class or display whatever is written in this void display you can directly display like for example if i wrote here sop hello so when my java compiler will run it will create a object of this child class and in this object i will call this is a object ob and i will call ob dot display so the child class will go because the child class will see in first in his house or let's say the child class will see first in its own class whether i have the display method or not as you can see there is only one method that is void main so we don't have the display method here so now what i will do i will go to my parent class because i have seen here is a keyword that says extend which indicates that we are using inheritance so i will go to the parent p as soon as i reach parent p i will search for the method that is ob dot dis that was display so i will see yes we got a method here that is display so if i will run this method so we will get the output hello so the output will be hello this is quite obvious see whenever child first ever if we have any problem or we are looking for a thing let's say pen so first i will look in my own pencil box if i don't get that then i will ask my parents that where you have kept the pen or can i borrow your pen so this is the same thing in this also first the child class will look in in its own class that whether this method is available or not that i am calling if it is not available then we will go to the class that we have extended or that we have inherited and we will search for that method and if we get that method we will use that and display whatever the result we are getting from it this is the exact basics of what is inheritance so basically a child class whenever we say child class the child class will get all the methods in short all methods of its own all methods of its own as well as of its parents class plus parent class methods okay parent class methods and but the parent class what it will get it will get nothing like if i have a parent class the parent class won't get any method it will get all its method only it will not get the access to the child method only all all its own method all its own method we cannot go and the parent class cannot access the child's class okay this is the main basic that you have to know for example if parent class has 10 methods and child class has 15 methods then the total method child class can access is 25 but parent class can only access those methods that is of its own and only those methods parent class can only get those methods that are of its own that is 10 only okay this is the basic idea of inheritance in the next video we will discuss how to implement or how to implement the program in java exact implementation we will be discussing so if you like this video kindly go and subscribe to the code effectively channel and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you for watching for watching the video